If muscle building is your goal, you need to be considering what you're doing in the gym. And you need to understand that when we lift a weight, there's a few things that are happening that could contribute to you building muscle or not. When you step into a gym and you go on a machine or you pick a weight and you start doing some reps, what you're first going to be doing is you're going to, you're going to be activating what we call the low threshold motor units, also meaning the slow twitch muscle fibers, the stuff that's easy. If you pick up a dumbbell and you do a bicep curl and you curl and you curl, the first few reps, it's going to be pretty easy. You're activating what we call the low threshold motor units, which are not going to help you to build muscle. The ones that are really going to help you build muscle are going to be the high threshold motor units or the fast twitch muscle fibers. You'll only know that's happening when you start lifting a weight and all of a sudden that weight becomes harder to lift. It becomes something that you've gone from a speed that you could control to a speed that is no longer under your control. And now you are activating those high threshold motor units. Those are the reps that really count. What you want to be making sure you're doing is no more than 12 reps, in my opinion, even though you can do more towards growth, which will have an impact on your fatigue. So if you want to manage fatigue, I would stay between the five to 12 reps. That would be a really good place to stay. Remembering the first few reps are going to be activating the low threshold motor units. So you need to pick a load that's going to be challenging enough around rep three or four. And then from then on, you want to go to failure or near failure.